bless you my saints I just want to bring a word of encouragement and um, you are not here by chance you are not here by mistake God makes no mistakes you are here by a divine appointment of the living God for such a time as this you're here on this earth at this time in this time of, of uh, Bible prophecy unfolding before us in this time of uh, persecution upon us on this time of uh, great darkness upon this wor uh, world yet we are the light and you're here for such a time as this to do a call that God's put in your heart we all are called to do the Great Commission. We all are called to uh, touch those around us, to, to bring forth whatever the Lord has put in our hearts. And we cannot allow the enemy to bring uh, deception, most of all, for the Lord told us not to be deceived, but also to not bring discouragement and uh, to uh, the oppression. And, and it's a spiritual war. And we got to understand that that's what we're battling. It's a spiritual war. And so we got to keep pressing in. And I was looking at the uh, book of uh, in Corinthians. And the Lord reminds me, you know, he, he picked the foolish things of this world. Amen. To glorify him. And so no matter what, how you feel, no matter what you're going through, God wants to use you. God wants to fulfill his will in you, through you, to bring himself glory. God wants to bring souls through you. God wants to touch others through you. But we have to be willing the part of the equation that we have to be responsible and willing we have to be in the word reading his word we have to be uh, uh, in fellowship and communion with the Holy Spirit and have an, an intimacy life with the Lord Jesus Christ a relationship where we're seeking him all the time folks and and the book of first uh, Corinthians uh, chapter 1 125 it says because the foolishness of God is wiser than man and the weakness of God is stronger than man for you see your calling brethren that not many wise according to the flesh not many wise according to to the to uh, uh, the flesh to the things of this world not many noble are called but God has chosen the foolish things of this world, of the world, to put to shame the wise. Because it is he that does the work through us. Blessed be the Lord. And to him we give all the glory. To the Lord Jesus Christ. And so, now, uh, to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty. When we are weak, he is strong. He gives us the grace. He gives us the strength. He is our strong tower, our redeemer, our savior. He is always with us. He is so loving. He is so caring. And he wants to fulfill a mighty work through you. It doesn't matter what age you are. It doesn't matter uh, where you're from. What matters is that you're born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, serving the Lord thank you Jesus put away all your distractions put away all the things that are distracting you away from the Lord put away the things that are uh, taking your time consuming your time and not allowing you to bring forth what the Lord has put in your in your heart to do thank you Jesus Many are called and that have not answered the call. And so we have to be uh, uh, responsible. And many are running from the Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Jesus. Answer your call. Answer your call is the words I keep hearing. Answer your call. So this is the word for all of us. Put away our distractions, anything that's distracting us, anything that is in this life that's taking up all of our time. And I'm talking about idolatry things. I'm talking about uh, things that are uh, of this world. We cannot be of this world. Thank you, Lord, because that's being at war with God. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Thank you, Jesus. So he chooses the foolish things to put to shame the wise. Amen. And the base things of the world and the things which are despised, God has chosen. And the things which are not to bring to nothing the things that are, even if you feel like an outcast, you are not here by mistake. God can use you. God can use you. Thank you, Jesus. And God wants to use you and to use you mightily. But we have to be willing. We have to be willing. Praise you, Lord. Um, uh, the next verse says that no flesh should glory in his presence and no flesh will glory in his presence nobody will take the glory of the living god all the glory goes to him but of him you are in christ jesus who became for us wisdom from god thank you lord and righteousness and sanctification and redemption thank you lord that it is written he who glories let him glory in the lord praise you lord I wanted to read a little more in uh, chapter 2 because we see how Paul did not, um, through all his sufferings, he was determined to preach Christ and Christ crucified. He was determined to preach the word of God. He was determined, and uh, verse um, chapter 2, I, brethren, when I came to you, did not come with ex excellence of speech or of wisdom. Okay. Paul did not have a, a, uh, uh, the ability to speak in, in, uh, with mighty words. Okay, However, thank you, Lord. I did not come, to, uh, come with excellence of speech or of wisdom declaring to you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you except jesus christ and him crucified and that's how we have to be it doesn't matter that you don't have a, 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 a you're not a bible scholar in all the, these the credentials as long as you're preaching the word of god we have to preach jesus christ crucified i was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling and my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom but in demonstration of the spirit and of power the power of the almighty god thank you jesus thank you father so it's it's the lord the lord exhorting us to fulfill our call to fulfill the mission that he put in our hearts to do that's why we are on this earth that's why we are here at this time and i just want to encourage you and bless you and to keep pressing forward to not give up to keep pressing forward look what he says on in first corinthians um, 2 9 but it is written, I has not seen nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Amen. He is our uh, blessed hope. And we cannot even fathom what he has prepared for us, for those that love him and serve him and are faithful to him. So I leave you with those words. I love you. I bless you. Be encouraged. Be on fire for the Lord. More than ever, seek Him with all your heart and all your mind and all your soul. Love Him. And to love Him is to obey Him. Amen. So be blessed. And till soon again, Lord willing.